there, guys. Welcome back. This is Sarah. Today, I'll be showing you another yummy nummy set. This is the delicious looking Sunday Maker, and I want to say a big thank you to Blip Toys for sending me this to review. Although they have several images of yummy looking ice cream on the box, I do want to warn you that this will not be actual ice cream. So inside this box, you get... Oh, and by the way, this new sound effect goes out to Crazy Gamer LPS. Yes, I read your comment. So here's the new sound effect for you. Hopefully you'll like this one a lot better. You get the Sunday Maker machine, two packets of the ice cream mix in strawberry flavor, a packet of fudge glazed mix, a packet of sprinkles, a plastic tray, two Sunday dishes, a mixing bowl, a scoop, a dropper, two spoons, and lastly, some instructions. In addition, you will also need some water, so let's get started with this ice cream mix. You're gonna fill your plastic tray with your ice cream mix until it reaches the fill line. Okay, I think that's enough. We've reached the fill line. Now we're gonna put in two scoops of water. Now we'll just give everything a little mixy mixy until it looks something like this. It looks so super red, but it smells like strawberries. Let me just grab my Sunday maker. Turn the center knob until it reaches the locked position. That way your ice cream doesn't go through all the way. This is the incorrect position. This is the correct position. This particular recipe will make two sundaes, so I'll put my first sundae dish inside the maker. Pour all the delicious strawberry ice cream into my maker. Carefully put the lid back on. Turn the knob to the unlocked position and start pushing down on the ice cream maker lid. Hey, that's twirling just like real ice cream. That's so cool. That's probably enough for this first one. We wanna save some for the second one. cream. Now let's add some toppings. Grab your mixing bowl and your packet of fudge glaze mix. Put in one scoop of the fudge glaze mix. With one scoop of water. Give this concoction a little mixy mixy until you have delicious looking fudge sauce. To get your fudge sauce on your sundae, you just squeeze your dropper and then dump it out over each sundae. You know what? Forget the dropper. We can't waste any of this fudge sauce. If you're making an ice cream sundae, you have to have the sprinkles. The sundaes are complete and now it's time for my favorite part, the taste test. Let's try it with all the flavors combined first. Mmm, wow, this is really sweet. I can taste the strawberry and chocolate, and I really like the crunch of the sprinkles. Let's try just the strawberry part next. This is very strong on strawberry taste, and it's very, very sugary. It's more like a candy. Now let's try just the fudge. Mmm, the fudge is good by itself. 
It tastes very similar to Hershey's milk chocolate syrup. Together, the chocolate and strawberry aren't bad, but they are super duper sweet. If you run out of Sunday ice cream to make, they also have a refill pack available so that you can make some more. This too is in the strawberry flavor, and I hope they come out with either a chocolate or vanilla flavor in the near future. This was definitely one of the easiest Yummy Nummies recipes to make, and the ice cream was pretty good. It is quite strong on the strawberry flavoring, so if you don't like strawberry, then you probably won't like this ice cream. I'm quite excited to get these little tiny Sunday dishes. I'm going to be starting another channel in August, and I've been collecting a bunch of miniature food dishes to use on that channel. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll be posting the birthday cake maker shortly in a few days, so stay tuned for that one. Again guys, I really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next video.